Hi, my name is Ravi Kumarty. So, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVT, Bangalore. So, today I am here to explain the Module Three, Element in Elements of Mechanical Engineering, so Internal Combustion Engine. So, in the Module Three, it's a Unit One, Internal Combustion Engine. So, before uh, think, uh, taking about the Internal Combustion Engine, so we should know what is a heat engine. So, heat engine is used to convert heat energy. Okay, supplied into a mechanical energy or is converted in heat energy into a mechanical energy. So, how it convert by burning the fuel. Okay, so it broadly classified into two types. One is an internal combustion engine and external combustion engine. Internal combustion engine means the combustion will takes place inside the cylinder. External combustion engine means the combustion will takes place outside the cylinder. Okay, so we will see the similar class of internal combustion engine. Yeah, so this is a classification of uh, heat engine and IC engine. So, in the IC engine there are classified in 8 different steps. So, the first one is cycle, number of cycle or number of stroke, okay, number of stroke for cycle. So, you will be having a 4 stroke and 2 stroke then based on the uh, method of heat addition, okay, though that is uh, auto cycle, diesel cycle, semi diesel cycle. So, auto cycle is constant volume, diesel cycle is constant pressure semi diesel cycle is it is a uh, constant pressure and as well as constant volume both will get in this. So, this is also called as limited pressure cycle. Next types of fuel used. So, petrol engine, diesel engine, gas engine. So, nowadays you people are going to use a biodiesel okay as a working fluid okay ignition there are two ignition one is a spark ignition and compression ignition engine. Then cooling system. So, air cooled system then water cooled system nowadays you will be in the cars it is a liquid cooling system is also there. Next, according to uh, arrangement, cylinder arrangement, there are uh, different arrangement like horizontal, vertical, V and radial, opposite, inline, okay, there are variety of cylinder arrangements are used. Next, according to number of cylinders, okay, so single cylinder engine and multi cylinder engine, okay, yeah, next. So, th next is you have to understand the terminology of AC engine. So, very, very important the terminology. So, first, will come to a bore. Bore means what? The dia of the piston okay, or cylinder dia. Okay, we call it as a cylinder dia. Cylinder dia we term as a bore. Top dead center, the topmost position in the cylinder. Piston is a topmost position in the cylinder. Okay, so that is a top dead center. Okay, now at the you know, top dead center means which is very near to the cylinder head. So, bottom dead center, it is a bottom most position in the cylinder. Okay, piston reaches bottom most position in the cylinder that is called as a bottom dead center. So, next stroke the distance traveled between top dead center and bottom dead center ok. So, that is called as a stroke ok piston traveled between top dead center to a bottom dead center that is called as a stroke see this is a stroke ok. So, next is what uh, ok see this is a stroke next is what compression ratio yeah. So, compression ratio before that you have to understand what is the clearance volume and what is the swept volume and what is the total volume. So, clearance volume is when the piston is at top dead center there is a gap between cylinder head and uh, piston head. So, that is called as a clearance volume ok and swept volume. Swept volume is what uh, rest of it ok uh, total volume minus swept volume uh, clearance volume will get the swept volume ok. This swept volume is always between the top dead center to bottom dead center ok. So, what is the clearance ratio? So, clearance compression ratio sorry compression ratio is total volume divided by clearance volume ok. So, total volume divided by clearance volume. So, that is a compression ratio ok. So, next is what uh, clearance volume is completed x. Components what are the main components? See main components is piston, connecting rod, crankshaft. Piston is the art of the you know engine ok. So, which is used to reciprocatory motion to and fro inside the cylinder and then connecting rod connecting rod is connect one end of the connecting rod is connected to piston other end is connected to crankshaft ok. So, this connecting rod is used to convert reciprocatory motion into a rotary motion and is used to transfer the power whichever the power is produced in the cylinder that will be transferred to crankshaft through the connecting rod. Next we will be having a cooling ok water cooling system then we will be having a crankcase. So, crankcase here you have to place uh, lick, you know, lubrication oil then combustion chamber whatever the volume is created inside the cylinder that is called as a combustion chamber and you will be having inlet wall, you will be having a exit wall and spark plug. Spark plug is only used in the uh, petrol engine, fuel injector is only used in the diesel engine. Then you will be having a, a cam mechanism to operate a uh, you know inlet and exhaust walls ok. 
So in manifold, exhaust manifold and inlet manifold is there. So these are the main components of IC engines. Connecting rods, see. So these are the connecting rods and this is the crankshaft. Okay, main bearings are used. Okay, yeah. So next, mainly thing, uh, very important concept. I'll come to a very important concept. So that is, that is called as a four-stroke petrol engine. See, four-stroke petrol engine. You have to remember there are mi minimum keywords in four-stroke petrol engine. What are the minimum keywords? So minimum keywords is four-stroke petrol engine. Is also called as a spark ignition engine. Is also it is working on constant pressure, constant volume heat addition cycle. This is working on auto cycle. So fuel used is petrol. These are the main keywords you have to remember. One is spark plug is used. Is also called as spark ignition engine. Petrol is a fuel used. Auto cycle which is working on auto cycle and the heat addition is constant volume heat addition okay so similarly you will be having a uh, yeah different four strokes okay what are the four strokes first one is suction compression power exhaust okay so suction compression power and exhaust we'll see what are the what happen in the suction compression power and exhaust step by step okay so this is a complete process you know a complete uh, uh, working principle is updated here okay we'll see step by step yeah so first step first step is suction stroke see suction stroke suction in the suction stroke the pistons start traveling from top dead center to bottom dead center while traveling from top dead center to bottom dead center inlet wall is open okay and there is a pressure difference is created between the outside means atmospheric pressure and cylinder pressure due to this pressure pressure difference the suction okay suction of air fuel mixture will be sucked into a combustion chamber okay so during this this stroke uh, this stroke exhaust wall is closed and to complete this stroke you require a half rotation of crankshaft okay that is a suction stroke what is the second compression stroke see compression stroke is at the end of the uh, okay compression stroke pistons start moving from bottom dead center to top while it is moving from top bottom dead to top so exhaust inlet wall is closed and exhaust wall is also closed okay whatever the fuel is fuel and air mixture is there inside the cylinder that will get compressed okay that will get compressed to high pressure and high temperature okay and at the end of the compression stroke with the help of spark plug you can observe with the help of spark plug there is an electric spark is generated and due to this electric spark the fuel start fuel and air mixture start burning okay the fuel and air mixture start burning this is a second stroke what about the third one third one is working or expansion stroke okay so expansion stroke here so if the com combustion of the fuel is completed so there is a some power is produced okay and temperature and pressure is increases okay which the high pressure and high temperature gases pushes the piston downward okay and then transfer the whatever the power is produced that will transfer to a crankshaft through connecting rod okay that whatever the power is transmitted to crankshaft the power will be stored in the flywheel okay whatever the power is stored in the flywheel that power will be utilized to start suction stroke means first stroke okay and then during this stroke both the valves is closed okay so next is ex exhaust stroke when the piston is start traveling from top dead center to bottom dead center during the third stroke means during the working stroke so in the exhaust valve is open then exhaust gases start expelling to a atmosphere okay so if the piston start moving from top dead center to bottom dead center so the exhaust gases whatever the present in the inside the cylinder that will be expelled to a atmosphere okay this is a exhaust stroke and you have to remember so i'll show you the uh, auto cycle here you have to remember so suction stroke sections during the suction stroke you should be keep it in mind the pressure remain constant pressure remain constant means cylinder pressure remain constant okay so during that constant pressure so the fuel and air mixture is entered that is a a to b okay and b to c is what second stroke compression stroke and b c to d is what at the end of the compression stroke constant volume heat addition at the constant volume the spark plug generates a electric spark generated so during that the fuel and air mixture start burning so that is a c to d next d to e is what expansion means power is produced okay with the help of that power the pushes piston downward from top dead center to bottom dead center during that the power will be expands okay and temperature is pressure is reduces and volume increases so that is d to e and e to b is constant volume heat reduction again okay and b to a b to a is your exhaust stroke okay so you can observe suction stroke 
Inlet and exhaust wall. Inlet wall is open. Exhaust wall is closed. But compressor and working stroke, both the walls are closed. Exhaust stroke, exhaust wall open. Inlet wall closed. Okay. So this is a brief working principle of your petrol engine. Okay. We'll see what is a diesel engine. Okay. So again, diesel engine. What are the key points of diesel engine? Very, very, very important. The key points of diesel engine. First, it is also called as a compression ignition engine. Next, fuel injector is used. Okay, next is what it is working on a diesel cycle. So diesel cycle works on constant pressure heat addition. These are the four important key points you have to be remember during this uh, diesel cycle. Okay, so yeah, so, so this is the uh, complete working principle of diesel cycle. Again, same process, same process. Whatever the petrol engine carried out, same process. But the only thing you are using here pet fuel injector. You are not using spark plug. Okay, we'll see step by step what happened. Yeah. So suction stroke, suction stroke is same thing. So uh, pistons start traveling from top dead center to bottom dead center while traveling TDC to BDC. Inlet wall is open. Okay, on the, there is a pressure difference is created between atmospheric pressure and cylinder pressure. So only compressed air will be entered. Only air is entered into a combustion chamber. There is no fuel. Okay, only air. Please remember, only air is entered into a combustion chamber. Okay, so what happened in second stroke? So second stroke is uh, in, in the piston start traveling from bottom dead center to top dead center. Inlet wall is closed and means both the walls are closed in the compression stroke. So whatever the air is present in the combustion chamber that will be get compressed to high pressure and high temperature. And if you are not supplied fuel, a fuel through the fuel injector, the air can able to ignite self. That is that we call. That's why we call it as a self ignition self ignition engine okay diesel engine is also called as self ignition engine or compression ignition engine okay so with the help of at the end of the compression stroke with the help of fuel injector the droplet droplet fuel is entered so the what our air is already having high temperature so if the the air you know droplet fuel is entered into a combustion chamber this the burning of air will takes place okay rapid burning of air will takes place so which uses some which increases the pressure and temperature and also produces some power okay so which pushes the piston downward means that is a working stroke or that is a expansion stroke okay so uh, in the, that is a expansion stroke means expansion stroke both the inlet and exhaust wall closed okay the bur rapid burning will be taking place so that if burning is completed the pressure and temperature increases and then power will be developed that with the help of that power piston will be pushes downward if it is push, pushes downward pressure is expands okay pressure is expand and then so you know that power will be transmitted to crankshaft through the connecting rod okay so next exhaust stroke is wait so again it piston start moving from top dead center bottom dead center to top dead center because uh, in the suction stroke it reaches to bottom dead, you know in the expansion stroke it reaches to BT, bdc then in exhaust stroke, it travel from BDC to TDC. So whatever the gases are there inside the combustion chamber that will be expelled out. Once it reaches nearer to the combustion TDC, the exhaust wall is also closed. At the end of the exhaust stroke, exhaust wall is also closed. So this is the uh, four stroke diesel engine. And please remember, uh, explain the diesel cycle uh, PV diagram. Yeah, you can observe A to B is also, I already said that in the previous cycle, A to B is what? suction stroke okay at constant pressure the uh, constant pressure the increase in volume okay so there is a, a pressure difference uh, atmospheric pressure and cylinder butter but cylinder pressure will not change okay and b to c is compression c to d is what constant pressure heat addition d to e is what expansion process it's also called as reversible or diabetic expansion or isentropic expansion then c e to b is what constant volume heat rejection so very thing, very two things you have to remember in constant oh, auto cycle and diesel cycle. The same thing is constant volume heat rejection, but heat addition will be different in both the cycle. Yeah. So this is a summary of the uh, diesel cycle four stroke. So you have to remember the two things here. The four stroke means you require two complete revolution of crankshaft to complete one cycle. Okay. Means every two stroke you require a one complete revolution of crankshaft. Okay. That is a two stroke, four stroke engine. Hi, uh, two stroke petrol engine. Okay, so two stroke cycle petrol engine. To complete two stroke cycle petrol engine, you required only one crankshaft revolution. Okay, so here uh, the very thing, very first thing you have to remember here 
you are not using any walls here you are using a ports instead of walls you are using a ports how many ports there are three ports you are using one is a inlet exhaust and transfer port okay and next thing is uh, see this produce a more power than the four stroke engine almost double power okay so it more power than the four stroke engine and the emission will be more so nowadays this two stroke cycle will be exhausted okay so here uh, the thing is very simple what are the two stroke one is a downward stroke and other one is a upward stroke okay the same component and here one more and another thing you have to remember in this uh, two stroke cycle is the whatever the fuel is admitted a uh, uh, fuel air mixture will be directly entered into a crankcase okay so it will not directly enter into a fuel injector uh, sorry your combustion chamber it will enter into a crankcase then it is enter it is entered into a combustion chamber okay so these are the uh, constructions okay step by step construction so we'll see step construction and working of two stroke petrol engine yeah okay so two stroke petrol engine so first we'll talk about the downward stroke of the piston so what happen so pre in the previous cycle whatever the fuel is entered so that will be burned with the help of spark plug and there is a power is produced okay so this power whatever the power is produced and temperature is increases so which pushes the piston downward okay so the burning gases expand in the cylinder okay so means if the piston is coming downward the pressure you know gases will be expand okay if it is again uh, tend to the you know, piston is come downward so exhaust wall port is open okay so exhaust port is open and then whatever the fuel is there in the crankcase which will get compressed okay and increases their pressure and temperature okay what are the fuel and air mixture is there in the crankcase it, it will get compressed okay so and whatever the combustible gases are there so our exhaust gases will be expelled to a atmosphere through you know through exhaust gas exhaust port okay so this is about your downward stroke to complete this you required only half rotation of crankshaft okay what about the upward stroke okay see upward stroke again see uh, in the upward in the downward stroke again it is the piston is come still downward so if it is come still downward so there will be a transport port is open so through the transport port whatever the fresh air mixture compressed fresh air mixture will be entered to a combustion chamber through the transport port so you know the whatever the fresh air mixture is enters into a combustion chamber so that fresh air mixture pushes the exhaust gases out okay if it is there inside the combustion chamber it will leads to a scavenging okay if it is leads to a scavenging there is a and you know uh, detonation or knocking will occur okay if knocking occur means incomplete combustion so that has to be overcome so that's why uh, the uh, combustible or exhaust gases is completely removed okay and to remove you're going to supply high pressure pressure air air and fuel mixture okay which pushes downward again further if the piston start moving upward so transport port is close okay a uh, transport port is close and as well as uh, exhaust port is also close but inlet port is open so if the inlet port is open the fuel and air mixture is entered into a crankcase and and whatever the fuel and air mixture are there in the combustion chamber that will get compressed to high pressure and high temperature with the help of spark plug the spark is generate okay so the spark is generate then the fuel air, air mixture start burning okay and the combustion will complete okay so after that again uh, which pushes you know the high pressure and high temperature burning gases which pushes the piston downward so if it is coming downward again the downward process will start okay so this is about your two stroke petrol engine working okay so we'll see what is between uh, isi engine and the ci engine what is the difference so main difference is ignition will be taking place in spark uh, with the help of spark plug and ignition of the fuel will be taking place with the help of spray of the fuel like a fuel injector okay so next uh, this is working on auto cycle and the uh, ci engine will be working on diesel cycle so fuel petrol is used and diesel is used and then next very important thing fourth one the mixture of air and petrol is drawn during a suction stroke okay but here only air is drawn during a suction stroke okay and uh, the combustion will be taking place at constant volume but here it will be taking place at constant pressure and the compression ratio ranges from 7 is to 1 12 is to 1 and here uh, 16 to 20 and even it will go to 24 is to 1 also 
and fuel cost is very high fuel cost is very low and the power output in a petrol engine is less and diesel engine is more power output okay so next two stroke difference between two stroke and uh, four stroke uh, engines okay very simple in the two stroke you required a only one complete revolution of crankshaft to complete the two stroke cycle but here you required a two complete revolution and power is developed during each revolution of crankshaft each revolution because only one revolution of crankshaft but here you required a alternative revolution of crankshaft okay and in the two stroke flywheel is not necessary because you will not store any energy but in the four stroke you required a flywheel is necessary and two stroke you going to use a ports okay two three ports you are going to use but here only two valves you going to use okay and in the two stroke the charges are admitted means fuel and air mixture is admitted into a crankcase first okay then to the cylinder but in the four stroke it is different like enters into a combustion chamber okay combustion chamber okay directly into a combustion chamber and working is simple in two stroke but in a four stroke working is a bit complicated and next exhaust gases are driven out by the piston during exhaust stroke okay but here exhaust gases out by incoming the fresh charges okay so these are the difference between two stroke and four stroke engine and this complete the uh, ic engine chapter module 3 uh, okay so module 3 unit 1 okay na this complete thank you